Welcome to Holistic Wellness 24-7. In today's video, discover to build stoic inner strength to handle criticism. The end of this video, you'll have a clear roadmap to handle criticism and how to improve your well-being. So let's get started on your journey to better health. That's why Criticism can cut deep. It can feel like a personal attack, leaving us feeling hurt and defensive. We might doubt ourselves, question our abilities and even withdraw from the world. But what if there was a better way to handle it? What if we could face criticism with calm and use it to our advantage? This is where the ancient wisdom of Stoicism comes in. Stoicism offers powerful tools for navigating the challenges of criticism. It teaches us to focus on what we can control, our own reactions, and to view criticism as an opportunity for growth. Stoicism is a philosophy that originated in ancient Greece and Rome. It emphasizes virtue, reason, and living in accordance with nature. The Stoics believed that by understanding the natural world and our place within it, we could achieve a state of tranquility and contentment. At its core, Stoicism is about building inner resilience and finding peace amidst life's storms. This ancient philosophy teaches us to focus on what we can control and to accept what we cannot. By doing so, we can maintain our inner calm even in the face of adversity. In today's world, we face a constant barrage of criticism. The digital age has amplified the voices of critics, making it easier than ever for negative feedback to reach us. Social media platforms with their instant and often anonymous nature can be particularly harsh. Social media, competitive workplaces and even our personal lives can expose us to harsh judgments. Whether it's a critical comment on a post, a tough performance review or a disagreement with a loved one, these moments can be challenging to navigate. This constant criticism can chip away at our self-worth and leave us feeling emotionally drained. Over time, the accumulation of negative feedback can lead to stress, anxiety, and even depression. Why does criticism hurt so much? Because we are wired to care about what others think. From an evolutionary perspective, being part of a group was essential for survival. Rejection from the group could mean isolation and danger. Our brains are programmed to seek social validation and avoid rejection. Positive feedback from others can boost our self-esteem, while negative feedback can make us question our worth. When we are criticized, it triggers these primal instincts, making us feel threatened and insecure. However, Stoicism offers tools to manage these feelings. By practicing mindfulness and focusing on our own values and actions, we can build resilience against external judgments. Techniques such as journaling, meditation and self-reflection can help us internalize stoic principles. By regularly examining our thoughts and reactions, we can learn to respond to criticism with calm and clarity. Ultimately, stoicism teaches us that our worth is not determined by others' opinions. By cultivating inner strength and focusing on our own growth, we can navigate the modern world's challenges with grace and resilience. So, as we face the pressures of contemporary life, we can look to the wisdom of the ancients. Stoicism, with its timeless teachings, offers a path to inner peace and resilience, helping us thrive in a world filled with noise and negativity. One of the most important lessons of Stoicism is the power of controlling our reactions. We cannot control what others say or do, but we can control how we respond. Epictetus, a famous Stoic philosopher, said, It's not what happens to you, but how you react to it that matters. This simple yet profound statement holds the key to handling criticism effectively. When we learn to control our reactions, we take back our power. Instead of getting defensive or angry, we can choose to pause, breathe and respond with calmness and composure. This doesn't mean we have to agree with the criticism, but it does mean we refuse to let it control us. Stoics viewed criticism not as something to be feared, but as a potential source of growth. Marcus Aurelius, the Roman emperor and Stoic philosopher, wrote in his journal, The impediment to action advances action. What stands in the way becomes the way. This perspective is incredibly empowering. It allows us to see criticism as a challenge to overcome, an opportunity to learn and improve. Instead of asking, why me? We can ask, what can I learn from this? By reframing our perspective, we can transform criticism from a negative experience into a positive one. Section 5. Practical Strategies for Handling Criticism 
Stoicism offers practical strategies for handling criticism in our daily lives. The ancient Stoics, such as Marcus Aurelius and Seneca, believed that how we respond to criticism is a reflection of our inner strength and wisdom. They taught that criticism, when handled correctly, can be a powerful tool for personal growth and self-improvement. Here are a few key lessons. Stay calm and avoid retaliation. This is easier said than done, but it is crucial. When we receive criticism, our emotions can flare up, leading us to react defensively or aggressively. The Stoics believe that maintaining our composure is essential. By staying calm, we can think more clearly and respond more effectively. When faced with criticism, our instinct might be to defend ourselves or lash out. This is a natural human reaction driven by our ego and desire to protect ourselves. However, reacting impulsively can often escalate the situation, leading to more conflict and misunderstanding. However, this often escalates the situation and makes matters worse. Instead of resolving the issue, it can create a cycle of negativity and resentment. The Stoics advise taking a step back and assessing the situation calmly before responding. Instead, take a deep breath, stay calm, and avoid responding impulsively. This pause allows us to gather our thoughts and approach the criticism with a clear mind. It also demonstrates self-control and maturity, which can diffuse tension and lead to a more constructive conversation. Consider the source. Not all criticism is created equal. Some criticism is well-intentioned and constructive, aimed at helping us improve. This type of feedback can be incredibly valuable offering insights that we might not have considered. Some criticism is well-intentioned and constructive, while other criticism is simply mean-spirited or unfounded. It's important to distinguish between the two. Constructive criticism comes from a place of care and concern, while mean-spirited criticism often stems from jealousy, insecurity, or a desire to hurt. Consider the source of the criticism. Is it coming from someone you respect, someone who knows you well, or someone whose opinion you value? If the criticism is coming from a trusted source, it is worth considering seriously. However, if it comes from someone who is consistently negative or unkind, it may be best to disregard it. Is it coming from someone you respect, someone who knows you well, or someone whose opinion you value? This assessment helps us determine the validity of the criticism and whether it is worth our attention. Is it coming from someone you respect, someone who knows you well, or someone whose opinion you value? Asterisk set boundaries. We have the right to set boundaries with people who are consistently critical or disrespectful. This is an important aspect of self-care and maintaining our mental well-being. Setting boundaries can involve limiting our interactions with such individuals, clearly communicating our boundaries, or even walking away from the situation if necessary. It is important to protect ourselves from toxic influences and prioritize our own peace of mind. We have the right to set boundaries with people who are consistently critical or disrespectful. This might involve limiting our interactions with them, clearly communicating our boundaries, or even walking away from the situation. Setting boundaries is not about being rude or dismissive. It is about respecting ourselves and our need for a positive environment. This might involve limiting our interactions with them, clearly communicating our boundaries or even walking away from the situation. By setting boundaries, we take control of our interactions and create a space where we can thrive without constant negativity. Reflect on valid criticism. While it's important to disregard unfair or unhelpful criticism, we should also be open to valid criticism. This type of feedback can be a valuable tool for personal growth and improvement. Reflecting on valid criticism involves taking the time to consider the feedback carefully. Is there any truth to what the person is saying? Can we use this feedback to improve ourselves or our work? This process requires humility and a willingness to learn. While it's important to disregard unfair or unhelpful criticism, we should also be open to valid criticism. This type of feedback can be a valuable tool for personal growth and improvement. By reflecting on valid criticism, we can identify areas where we can grow and make positive changes. Is there any truth to what the person is saying? Can we use this feedback to improve ourselves or our work? This process requires humility and a willingness to learn. It also involves separating our ego from the feedback and focusing on the potential benefits of the criticism. 
Is there any truth to what the person is saying? Can we use this feedback to improve ourselves or our work? By approaching criticism with an open mind, we can turn it into an opportunity for growth and self-improvement. Is there any truth to what the person is saying? Can we use this feedback to improve ourselves or our work? By approaching criticism with an open mind, we can turn it into an opportunity for growth and self-improvement. This mindset allows us to view criticism as a learning experience rather than a personal attack. Can we use this feedback to improve ourselves or our work? By approaching criticism with an open mind, we can turn it into an opportunity for growth and self-improvement. This mindset allows us to view criticism as a learning experience rather than a personal attack. In conclusion, handling criticism effectively requires a combination of calmness, discernment, boundary setting and openness to growth. By applying these practical strategies, we can navigate criticism with grace and use it as a tool for personal development. Section 6. The Importance of Self-Awareness Cultivating self-awareness is crucial for handling criticism effectively. This involves understanding our own strengths and weaknesses, our values and beliefs, and our triggers and emotional patterns. When we are self-aware, we are better equipped to identify when criticism is about us and when it's about the other person. We can recognize our own insecurities and biases, and we can separate our ego from the situation. Self-awareness allows us to respond to criticism with greater objectivity and clarity. Section 7. Embracing Criticism. Embracing Growth. Instead of fearing criticism, we can learn to embrace it as an opportunity for growth. Every piece of criticism, whether valid or not, offers us a chance to learn something about ourselves or the world around us. It's important to remember that criticism is often a reflection of the other person's perspective, experiences and biases, rather than an objective truth about ourselves. We can choose to learn from the feedback, let go of what doesn't serve us and move forward with greater resilience and wisdom. Section 8. The Power of Perspective Our perspective shapes our reality. When we view criticism as a personal attack, we give it power over us. However, when we choose to see it as an opportunity for growth, we reclaim our power. Stoicism teaches us that we can't always control what happens to us, but we can always control our thoughts and reactions. We can choose to focus on what we can control, to learn from our experiences and to become more resilient in the face of adversity. Section 9. Building Inner Strength Through Stoicism By applying the principles of Stoicism, we can build inner strength and develop greater resilience to criticism. Stoicism teaches us to focus on what we can control and let go of what we cannot. This ancient philosophy, rooted in the teachings of thinkers like Epictetus, Seneca and Marcus Aurelius, offers timeless wisdom for modern challenges. We can learn to... Our self-worth should not be contingent on the opinions of others. In a world where social media and external validation often dictate our sense of self, Stoicism reminds us that true worth comes from within. By internalizing this principle, we can navigate life's ups and downs with greater equanimity. We are inherently worthy, regardless of what others think or say. This intrinsic value is not something that can be given or taken away by external forces. It is a constant, unchanging truth that we must remind ourselves of daily. We can't control what others say or do, but we can control our reactions. This is a cornerstone of Stoic philosophy. By focusing on our own responses, we reclaim our power and maintain our inner peace. But we can control our reactions. When faced with criticism or adversity, we have the choice to respond with calmness, composure and dignity. This deliberate response not only preserves our peace but also sets a positive example for others. We can choose to respond with calmness, composure and dignity. Instead of reacting impulsively, we can take a moment to breathe, reflect and choose our response wisely. This practice of mindfulness and self-control is at the heart of stoic resilience. Instead of fearing criticism, we can embrace it as a chance to learn and grow. Criticism, when viewed through the lens of Stoicism, becomes an opportunity for self-improvement. It is a mirror that reflects areas where we can evolve and become better versions of ourselves. We can embrace it as a chance to learn and grow. By welcoming feedback, we open ourselves to new perspectives and insights. This openness not only enhances our personal growth, but also strengthens our relationships with others. Gratitude helps us shift our focus from what's wrong to what's right. 
In the practice of Stoicism, gratitude is a powerful tool for maintaining a positive outlook. By regularly acknowledging the good in our lives, we cultivate a mindset of abundance and contentment. When we appreciate the good in our lives, we are less likely to be thrown off balance by criticism. Gratitude anchors us in the present moment and reminds us of the many blessings we often take for granted. It is a shield against negativity and a source of enduring strength. We are less likely to be thrown off balance by criticism. By integrating the principles of Stoicism into our daily lives, we build a foundation of inner strength that allows us to face challenges with grace and resilience. This inner fortitude is not just a shield against external pressures, but a beacon that guides us towards a more fulfilling and meaningful life. Section 10, a call to action, embrace the Stoic path. The Stoic path is not about becoming emotionless or indifferent, it's about developing inner strength, resilience and wisdom. It's about living a life guided by virtue, reason and acceptance. I encourage you to explore the teachings of Stoicism and discover how they can help you navigate the challenges of criticism and live a more fulfilling life. Remember, the power lies within you to choose your reactions, to learn from your experiences and to become the best version of yourself. If, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for more content.